what it's like to win your first Winston Cup race <laughs> and what you do when you finally take that checkered flag. We've seen a lot of the, the donut type situations with the various drivers, and uh, he, he must have practiced that. He knew how to do it. He knew exactly how to do it. You know, this is the last time I work with Bob Jenkins in the last, in the near, next little while, but Bob, the last 12 years has been an absolute privilege and a pleasure, and I love you, man. Thank you, you too, Big Pete. Sure have uh, been a, it's been a joy over the years. This will be my last time to work with any of you, because this is my last Winston Cup broadcast. It's been a great ride. Thanks. We have extensive coverage coming up on RPM tonight, of course. And don't forget the special presentation, Darrell Waltrip, a champion salute. That can be seen at 9.30 Eastern Time on Sunday here on ESPN2. So it's been a wonderful, wonderful run here for the past uh, 20 years on ESPN doing NASCAR Winston Cup racing. Certainly our congratulations go to everyone who has contributed to uh, what we have done, and especially to Jerry Nadeau, who had an outstanding race here today, and to Bobby Labonte, who is the champion for 2000. Throughout life, we as individuals and professionals invest countless time, money, and effort in search of all the elusive elements that can bring our health and happiness to the next level. But every once in a while, magic happens that special combination that just cannot be explained. It just happens. On a Sunday afternoon at Rockingham in 1981, the magic began. We now arrive at a moment that every member of this team had wished would never come for over a year. The time we knew that we all must go our separate ways and then hopefully, just for a while, our NASCAR Winston Cup coverage. As the senior member of the team, I've accepted the responsibility of saying farewell. And believe me, it is not easy. Benny, Ned, Jerry, John, Bill, Mike Wells, our director, and Neil Goldberg, our producer, and a lot of other behind-the-scenes people, and I, have become like family over the years. And although and I and several other members of this team will continue to be seen on ESPN, our time together as a team is over. We thank everyone at NASCAR and the various tracks we've visited, but most importantly, we thank you, our fans, who have contributed so much to our coverage down through the years. It was for you that we've done this since 1981. Without you, there would have been no magic. And so it is to you that we dedicate these next few moments. We hope you take pride, as we will, in what we've accomplished on those more than 200 Sunday afternoons. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 